Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the AFCAST Tenerife Afternoons. I'm your host, Tim Dowd. Today, Monday is... Today, Monday is... <laughs> Today is Monday, the 12th of April, 2021. On today's show, we're going to have a little bit of weather. We're going to go and look at the latest in the COVID situation. Then we're going to go ahead to Janet Anscombe. She's got one headline I want to read out. The government website doesn't have anything new today from yesterday, so we'll skip that. So it'll be a short one today. Enjoy the show. Okay, welcome to the uncut version. That was my uh, faulty towers moment there and then. I've just got to record something and I don't have it with me. There you go. Here we go. I'll record it later. I'll record it later. Good. So welcome to the uncut version. As you can see, beautiful blue skies behind me. Here is a little view off the balcony earlier. The uh, Rockdale Condi then, light wispy clouds over Las Americas and the Ducky coming round. I'm swaying a bit there over to La Gomera. And some people were asking about where's the pool and there she is. So yeah, it's a beautiful day today. In fact, when we get to the weather, I'll say there's a little bit of a high coming, so that's quite nice. And um, what else we got? Oh, yeah, tomorrow morning I'm going to do a, uh, a tour of a house for a friend of mine, Andy Ward. Andy, if you're watching, he's got the uh, TenerifeEstateAgents.org. And things are booking up. Uh, people are buying, people are selling. So uh, it's looking quite good for that. And also on Wednesday, we're going to go and see if we can get some information about paying property tax if you're not here and you don't have a Spanish bank account. I'll ask him tomorrow, so I should get a, an answer uh, or at least somebody I can talk to uh, about that because a few of you are still stuck since lockdown. And if you don't have a Spanish bank account and you pay your tax in person, then what's, uh, what's the deal now that you can't come over? Okay, so uh, let's go straight ahead and do the weather. Well, there's going to be plenty of weather in the next few days, as they say. As you can see, it's 23 degrees on the balcony right now. <clears throat> and it's going to be cloudy all week, according to this, although I don't see a cloud anyway in the sky. It says mainly sunny, mainly sunny, light sunny spells. But basically, it's the same every day these days. As you can see, the clouds around us are many and varied, but we're in a nice little clear spot in the middle. Zooming out to look at the whole of the Atlantic, you can see that the lows have drifted a bit north there, and uh, some of those clouds to the west and south of us will hit us eventually, and that's probably what they're saying on the forecast. Looking at the isobars, we're being touched by a high-pressure system, which is keeping the breeze nice and warm. And that was your weather for today. Monday, the 12th of April, 2021. Yes, yeah, it's looking pretty good. Let me zoom out a little bit here. There we go. So that's the uh, the big view there of our balcony. A lot of people are saying, I'm jealous of your view. And we were quite lucky to get this, actually. I mean, we were really panicking because we'd sold the house and everything. And we were in a hotel and we thought, oh, we'll just nip over and get a flat. But none of the flats that we looked at were wheelchair friendly. I mean, they were okay getting into some of them. But when you got inside, you couldn't swing a cat. You couldn't turn. You couldn't get into the, the loo. 
And so when we found this place, uh, one of the guys that used to live in this building, his wife was disabled and he made them put a ramp at the beginning at the, in the front door. All the other blocks have got steps and we've got a ramp up to our front door, so that's quite nice. There's a, a lift that goes up and down, and when you get to the basement, there's no step into the basement, whereas the other blocks, I've noticed, there's sometimes quite a large step from the bottom of the elevator into the uh, garage itself. So we were really lucky here, and there's uh, two equal-sized bedrooms with built-in wardrobes, a uh, living room and a separate kitchen, which is fantastic for us and a bijou but a usable bathroom so we were really really lucky and then when we came out here I, we nearly were in tears because it was basically the perfect place for us so uh, we are uh, going to redo the bathroom in the next month and i think i've mentioned that before but we're things are, are going ahead now we've got we've uh, picked all the stuff out that we need all we need to do is send it to the insurance company and they can say how much they're going to pay towards it i've got a guy on tenter hooks waiting to give me a quote and uh yeah when we actually do that we're going to go and stay in a hotel for a week while they do the work so we'll be vlogging from a, a five-star hotel the sheraton la Caleta, hopefully if they're open and if they're accepting guests then uh, we'll be in there but uh if not then we'll go somewhere else might even go to the north who knows who knows who knows who knows? Here we go. So, um, we got some work going on over there, so excuse the old drilling and motorbikes and whatever the sound is there. And let's go ahead and do the COVID. COVID. COVID-19 update. On the whole of the Canary Islands, the... Uh, the figures have gone up for active cases, 4,705 in the whole of the Canary Islands. This is as of 2 o'clock yesterday, the 11th of April. If we nip over to Tenerife now, we'll see that that's also gone up at 2,452 active cases on the island. Um, you look in the middle there, if you're watching on YouTube, uh, you'll see the areas where we've had new cases in the last seven days are in red. And of those 2,452 cases, we have just over 1,200 in Santa Cruz, 572 in La Laguna, 134 Arona, 99 Adeje, and Granadilla de Abona, 86. And even the others are coming up. They're under 50 still, but they're coming up into the 40s. And so everything has gone up. All those places have gone up since yesterday. And looking at the average over the last seven days, as we predicted, it is still on the rise and now at 74.2 people infected a day for every 100,000 people on the island. And we have 900,000 people on the island, so that's a, an idea of how many people are being infected every day there. Well, that is your COVID for today. Yeah, so as we did say, we predicted that uh, the, Seman Sanam, blah, 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 the Semana Santa, the Easter week where people were getting together with families and stuff, uh, that that would have an impact on it. I got a message, um, somebody missed, left a comment today saying the tourists are not coming, where is all the COVID coming from? And basically, that's a two-edged sword because the tourists never actually brought it. I mean, obviously, right at the beginning, there was that Italian doctor that came and stayed in the H10 Adeji, and he was the first case that we had on the island. But um, basically, it's not the tourists that are bringing it. The tourists are being tested before they leave. They're being tested while they're here. They're not actually going around kissing and cuddling people, so... Uh, they're not going to full bars and they're not dancing. They're not going to pool parties. So the tourists are the least of our worries. What's happening here is that we're having people who are getting together with people they know and people with family. They, they're cuddling, they're kissing, um, probably not washing their hands as often as they should, touching the mouth. 
obviously some people getting it are getting it off uh, i don't know uh, shopping carts and touching their mouth but basically if you keep washing your hands and you don't touch your face you're going to have uh, you're going to be at less at risk now obviously there's always a risk if you're getting in an elevator and somebody's just coughed in there and you're going to breathe it in but you know that's that's life i suppose that's that's the same as anything but yeah it's it's basically I think a lot of people are getting fed up as well. It's about a year on now, and the restrictions, you know, I'm, I'm like the big restrictions guy and wear your mask and all that. But basically, some people are just saying, you know what, I can't be bothered, you know. And um, and that's, is well, I mean, it's not helping, but I, I do appreciate people who feel like that, you know, and then they, they just say, ah, nothing's going to happen anyway. Especially in the younger crowd, you know, they're saying, you know, I'd, I'm, I'm immortal, I can do what I like. And then they'll bring it and kill granny, maybe, I don't know. So we'll see uh, that we are having deaths as well. So uh, it's not it's not just people getting sick, you know, having a bit of a cold or something. There are people who are dying of this. I know that a lot of people say, well, there's underlying other systems as well, but that's not always true. Some people are getting a really bad dose of this thing. So if, the quicker we can get rid of it, the better. Uh, the vaccinations carrying on, as I mentioned yesterday. Uh, nothing's really changed on that. It's everything's on track. It's just the, the plan is later than in some of the countries but for it we are giving out the doses um as we get them so it's uh, it's not as if we're hoarding the doses or anything and it's to a, a a plan of the groups up until 45 years old and then the rest will be done under that great stuff okay i'd like to thank everybody who uh contacted me saying they like the format of this and it's very interesting and they can dip in and out um thank you for that uh, if you don't listen to the podcast and you're watching on YouTube, um, go and have a look at the podcast. This might be something you could like download in your phone and then uh, have a listen to when you like or show your friends, share with your friends. Okay, so what we got next? We're going to go over to Janet. Uh, Janet doesn't have a lot today because uh, I read a lot out of Janet yesterday and also the government website uh, hasn't changed this morning. Uh, a time of recording, which is 12.39, I'm a bit early today. I've got a lot to do because we're going live tonight for the Leader Holes and Challenge. Spoiler alert, I can't fit in just yet. <laughs> so, here we go. Let's nip over to JanetAnscombe.com to see the headlines there. Janet's just got one headline today that we didn't read out yesterday. It's from the 11th of April. Um, Cayucos and Pateras in the Canaries. And this is the, sto the ongoing story of boat people coming over from Africa. Cayuco of despair found carrying four dead and ten in condition so critical they were thought also to have perished. So that's a terrible uh, thing. The... Uh, Let's see if I can read this. Uh, the photo is from Puerto de Tenerife, updated the 11th of April. A Kirko containing 23 migrants, four of whom had died, was localized some 200 kilometers from El Hierro earlier today. That's halfway to America, near enough. The survivors of the craft have been evacuated in absolutely dreadful conditions. The 16 most seriously ill have been taken by two helicopters to Tenerife, south and El Hierro itself. Ten of them are said to be in critical condition, so badly indeed that they were initially counted as among the dead. And the others, six gravely ill in Tenerife, somebody have taken to Candelari Hospital and others to El Mojón. That was updated yesterday on the 11th. So that is bad news all the time that people actually take make that journey for a better life and end up uh, not making it at all. So I'd like to thank Janet for a wonderful website. Don't forget to go to JanetAnson.com and there's also information on how to move here, etc. there. As I said, the government website didn't change this morning, so I'm not going to read anything out at that. So basically, this is the short form of the AFCAS today. And all it leads me to do is to thank you guys. 
So let's get this ready. I'll go one, two, three, four. Here we go. I'd like to thank each and every one of you for listening today. Don't forget to download the podcast or favorite it as you may seem fit. If you're watching on Facebook, uh, sorry, if you're watching on YouTube, youtube.com slash LWMST, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that little bell for notifications. I did mention Facebook because we do have a page there called at LWMST. And we do pictures of our food on Instagram. Like this one. And this one. Don't forget to go over to timothydowd.com if you want to know any more, where you can send me a message, learn how to sponsor the channel, find out how you can join me live Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 5.55. See ya. Well, I messed that up, didn't I? <laughs> at the beginning and the end. There you go. Right, so ladles and jelly spoons, I'd like to thank you so much for watching today and hope to see you tonight at 5.55, unless, of course, you're watching this on catch-up. And then what we're going to do is say Google thinks you might like to watch this one next. And if you press the little square button, I'll take you to our website to find out how you can sponsor the channel. And the little round one is just in case you haven't subscribed yet. See ya. Bye. Zzz.